Hi everyone, my name is Didi Royale, also known as the Italian Diva. Today we're gonna to make a very special dish. We're gonna make pesto with almonds, arugula, and lots of great ingredients. So join me in my class. So the first thing I wanna do is flatten out the dough. The reason you flatten it, because it's gotta fit in those rollers. Now if you don't have a pasta machine, you're gonna to have to do this by hand with a hand roller. So here what I've done, I've pressed it out. And with the, at the lowest setting, which is number one, sometime it's number zero, you're gonna crank this through. Okay? So you see how it gets stuck in there? That tells me the dough is too wet. So I wanna fold it again, press it down, and I'm gonna add a little bit of more flour to my board. Just take it from the corner and just spread it around. All right, so you see how this is a little more smooth? What I'm gonna do now is go to the next number, which is number two. And again, I put it through the machine. See how smooth that is? Now, I don't need to add much flour. I can just add a little bit. Don't overflour it. Just swirl it around. And let's go to the next number. Now, what might split is, this, as you see, not to worry, this is very typical. Number five. We're gonna go up to number seven. All right, crank it through. Now I try to keep it the size of the board. In this case, I'm gonna cut it in half just so I can work with it. And then I wanna even off the edge. And just take my cutter and just go along, use your eye. I never could cut a straight line, but. And then with your uh, other side, your um, flat side, you're gonna go down pretty even to the middle. Okay, then with your hands, use your three fingers with the fluted side, just cut in approximately two inches. We're gonna take a dowel, and this is about, oh, I don't know, quarter inch dowel, and we're gonna roll it in some flour. And then on the corner, we're going to tap it, press it, and roll it, and then slide it off. You see? All right, let's try that again. T tap it a little bit, roll it, and slide it off. And you want to keep this dowel well floured, because if it gets stuck on the dowel, you got to redo it. Okay, now we're going to make the pesto. Just cut it down the middle, and you want to remove those seeds. Right, unless you like it just super, super hot, which, you know, you can always make it hotter, but you can't remove it. So slice it down the middle, and you see there's a lot of seeds in there. Look at all those seeds. And don't ever, ever touch your face or your hands or your eyes once you've handled these. You've got to wash immediately. All right, so let's just take those seeds and put them aside, and you're gonna just slice these. Put them together. Keep your fingers tucked like a claw. We don't want any amputations. All right, add that to your red peppers, red pepper flakes. We're gonna add our baby arugula. We're gonna add mint leaves. Add those in there. We're gonna add three cloves of garlic. One, two, three. And some fennel seed, all right? Then we're gonna add our blanched almonds. Now a blanch means that the skin has been removed and they've been slightly boiled. And we're gonna add those in there. And we're gonna add all this pepper. Now while that's running, I'm gonna add all this oil, which is about a half a cup. So let it just stream in. I sure love this color. Mm-mm-mm. I'm gonna scrape all this out. Now we add our pecorino romano, and we're gonna fold that in. Okay, so I think the pasta is ready. So we're gonna go over to the stove now and finish our dish. What you wanna do is always salt your water. It should taste like seawater, so you wanna put plenty of salt. Now we're gonna add all our ziti. We're gonna add all that at one time because it's gonna cook very quickly. 
into the boiling water. Now you see it's a rolling boil. And then with a spider spatula, got to get one of these, very gently, you move them around. Very gently. And then we're going to add these to, the, to a bowl with the pesto. Just put some on top. And this goes a long way. So, with your tongs, you're going to toss that. And the steam of the pasta will help break down the pesto. Today's dish was ziti with pesto. So here's the Italian diva saying, una vita senza buon cibo, non vita. A life without good food is not life. Ciao, ciao.